Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're going to be answering more of the very common curly hair questions which is how often should we be cutting our hair? Curly hair is definitely a whole different type of species and really should not be compared to straight hair just because it's so different. There are curly hair rules, there are straight hair rules, and we don't always get along. If you want to go with the rules, a lot of people say that you should cut your naturally curly hair every three to four months. I'm not someone who really lives by like a curly hair cut schedule. I just kind of do it when I know that I need to. For example, I have bangs. When I can't see anymore, it's time for me to get a trip. Another indicator is if you're combing your hair, brushing your hair, whatever, and you notice that like it's getting really knotted at the bottom, or you're getting a lot of fairy knots or split ends, even though it's kind of hard to see split ends on curly hair, but like you just notice it's getting just really, really hard to brush through your hair, then you might want to get a little bit of a trim to get rid of those dead ends. So in my personal opinion, I wouldn't stress so much to like a strict calendar of cutting your hair on this day of this month, every four months or whatever. Just listen to your curls and see what they're saying. Now there's three main types of haircuts that I want to explain today. There's the curly cut, aka the diva cut. There's getting a trim and then there's dusting. Let's start off with diva cuts or curly haircuts. A diva cut is kind of like the coined brand name of a curly haircut because of the brand Diva Curl. But what that really means is getting a dry, curly cut. Cutting your hair while it's curly in its natural state. That is the only way you should be cutting your curly hair. If you go in and straighten your hair and you plan on wearing it curly, like, that's a horrible idea. You know how much longer your hair is when it's straight. So if you're cutting it, you're like, oh, I cut off this much. And then little did you know, hello shrinkage. Now your hair is this short because you left the salon with no idea on how your actual curls were going to look. So please do not get your hair cut while it's straight. You will have no idea what the end result looks like until you get home and wash your hair and it's just like, it could be super uneven. Now back in the day, I used to go to a random, you know, super cuts, whatever, get my hair washed, and then they cut it. I wouldn't even recommend getting a haircut on wet curls because as you know, when your hair is wet, it's at its longest state. So now you're cutting it with the longest look, but you don't know how it's gonna look when it's dry. So please look for a certified diva salon. That's gonna be your best bet. If it's not a diva salon, look for diva certified stylists because they're literally hairstylists that are trained in curly hair. But certified or not, the best thing to do is to find them on Instagram, look at their work, see if they've ever done haircuts on your texture before. Getting a haircut could mean getting layers, getting a totally different style, getting bangs, maybe doing a big chop, cutting off all those straight damaged pieces. That is what I would consider a curly hair cut. But if you're getting a trim, that's something you should be doing every so often. Like I said, could be three to four months. It really should just be when you feel like you need to get a trim because your ends are getting really dry or brittle or they're knotting really easily. When you get a trim, especially if it's someone who is Diva certified, they're gonna go curl by curl, picking up one curl at a time and cutting where it needs to be. I have recorded all of my curly hair cuts, so I'll make sure to link that video here and below so you guys can check out how I get my hair cut. But another way to cut curly hair is called dusting. No, we are not gonna get the broom and start sweeping around. Dusting is when you're cutting off literally like three fourths of an inch on each curl. So you're not really messing with your length. You're literally just getting like those tiny little split ends, the little frizzies at the bottom, and that's it. And that actually can make a huge difference in the overall health and detanglingness of your hair. So after a trim, you'll see a couple little curls on the floor. After dusting, you're gonna see itsy beatsy little tiny little pieces on the floor, but nothing dramatic and you shouldn't notice a length change. If you do, you got a haircut. But the benefits to trims and dusting is actually length retention. So there's the good old myth of if you cut your hair, it's gonna make your hair grow longer. Technically, but technically not. 
We're not like a plant where when you cut off at the stem, it's gonna like regrow from there. Our hair does not grow from our ends, it grows from our scalp. But it helps with length retention because we don't have that dead end at the bottom and we don't have the split ends. So if you have any split ends, that's where the damage comes in because that split is just gonna keep splitting and now it's messing up your new growth because it's just gonna keep going. So it's better to cut off the split ends so that you don't lose your new length. Does that make sense? So haircuts do not make your hair grow, but it helps keep it longer, longer. And that's why I'm such a huge advocate of big chopping over transitioning. Obviously you're gonna do whatever you're comfortable with, but if you could just muster up that courage, you will have a much longer length retention because you don't have that dead hair just holding it down, messing up the full look of your hair. And that damaged hair isn't gonna split and start affecting your new growth. So it's really better just to get rid of it. Now my favorite salon in California is Curls One on One. They're located in Beverly Hills. And I actually just recently went again with my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law. So I wanted to show you how dusting would look even on a different hair type from mine. Just cleaning the ends. Just going pretty much curl by curl. And just cleaning the ends. So they can be more happy when she gets color. It's easy to detangle, yeah. you don't get those just little things. I've been getting like a lot of little knots lately. Like just with like dusting, it's gonna make it so easy for you to detangle it. Right. Okay. So that is the main gist of how you should be cutting, trimming, or dusting your curly hair. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I have an entire curly playlist with more haircuts and more curly hair tips. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you get to see me daily and get daily curly hair tips, makeup, skincare, seeing what I'm doing every day. So hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I upload and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.